Hello, what's up dudes, and welcome back to the Big Book of Animals. Let's go to the table of contents and see where we had previously left off. Here we are, so we previously read Montreams and Marsupials and Mouse like rodents. So today the winner is cavey like and squirrel like rodents. Let's jump right into it. I've got the tree kangaroo. Here we are. Cavey like and squirrel like rodents. Squirrel like rodents, opposite page, range from all types of squirrels, tree, ground, and flying, to prairie dogs, marmots, beavers, chipmunks, and kangaroo rats. When these animals take a bite out of something, the, their jaws move forward. Like all rodents, they cannot do anything. The result in the case of the beaver can be disruptive. Beaver dams often cause widespread flooding, especially in urban areas. Hibernation is another interesting feature of this group. Ground squirrels and marmots hiber hibernate for several months during the winter when food supplies are short. They become inactive, living off their fat stores. To conserve energy, their body temperature drops to equal that of the environment. Their heart and respiratory rates drop too, but they are not asleep. All hibernating animals sporadically become active and warm up usually every 10 to 15 days. Some squirrels and beavers can live more than 20 years. The, the cavey-like rodents, this page, have chewing muscles that attach to both the lower and upper jaws, giving them a very strong bite. The animals in this group have large heads relative to their bodies and very greatly in size. The smallest is the mouse-sized naked wool rat. The largest is the big size capybara, the world's largest rodent. The most respected for its painful quills is the porcupine. Many cavey like rodents, such as the guinea pig and chinchilla, have been domesticated for food and clothing and as pets. Lifespans in this group also vary. Naked mole rats and porcupines can live as long as 20 years. So it's about 20 years for these animals, but it varies on what animal it is. So we're going to look at the cavey-like rodents first and the squirrel-like rodents second. Okay. Brazilian porcupine. They live in Trinidad in the forests of northern Southern America. They are 2 to 11 pounds or 0 0.9 to 5 kilograms and they eat leaves, stems, fruit, blossoms, roots, trees, and bark. Worldwide, there are 29 species of porcupines. Those found in the Americas, like the Brazilian porcupine, are good climbers. Those found in Asia, Europe, and Africa spend most of their time on the ground, or at least their quills when they are threatened. Next, the naked mole rat. They live in Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia. They are 1.2 ounces or 35 grams. And they eat roots, bulbs, tubers, and under, underground plant parts. Naked mole rats live in dark, warm burrows. They find their food by smelling their way by feel using their sensitive whiskers. They live in large colonies with a single breeding female or queen and a dozen of workers. And then, this is the burrow. Last, capybara. They live in tropical areas of South America. They are 77 to 145 pounds or 34.9 to 65.8 kilograms and they eat grasses and aquatic plants. Despite their large size or maybe because of it, capybaras are one of the green anaconda's favorite foods. For protection, these semi-aquatic herbivores live in groups of 10 to 20. Young stay with their mothers for up to a year. So we have three KB-like, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Okay, first, the woodchuck in the squirrel-like rodent category. Okay, woodchucks live in Canada and eastern and central United States. They are 4.4 to 13.1 pounds or 2 to 5 kilograms. They eat roots, bulbs, tubers, and seeds. 
The woodchuck is the most common species of marmot found in North America. In some places, it is also known as the groundhog or whistle pig. Woodchucks hibernate and breed shortly after waking in the spring. Next, kangaroo rat. They live in western Northern America. They are 2 to 3.4 ounces or 56.7 to 96.4 grams and they eat seeds, some grasshoppers, and moths. Kangaroo rats are solitary nocturnal animals that hop and build burrows in sandy soil. To protect their homes and avoid the heat of the day, they kick sand over the entrance, covering the hole from inside. Now we have Silky Pocket Mouse. They live in western and southwestern United States and northern Mexico. They are 0.2 to 0.3 ounces or 5.7 to 8.5 grams, and they eat seeds and some green vegetation and also some insects. There are several species of pocket mice. This one prefers sandy soils, though it also is found in rocky habitats. The silky mouse is named for its unusually soft fur. Okay, black-tailed prairie dog. They live in the western United States. They are 1.5 to 3.7 pounds or 0.7 to 1.7 kilograms. They eat grasses and other vegetation. These highly social rodents live in large colonies known as prairie dog towns. They not only share their burrows and food, but they also warn each other at the first sight of predators such as a hungry hawk or black-footed ferret. Now we have the American beaver. They live in North America, except deserts in northern Canada, and they are 29 to 70 pounds or 13 to 32 kilograms, and they eat tree bark, especially willow, maple, poplar, beech, birch, alder, and aspen. Beavers are mostly aquatic rodents with huge inserts for cutting through wood, their primary food. Young are born with fully food with their eyes, open and can swim within 24 hours. They spend up to two years with their parents. And last, but not least, if we haven't forgotten all these animals, the Eastern Gray Squirrel. They live in eastern to midwestern United States. They are 0.7 to 1.6 pounds or 0.3 to 0.7 kilograms, and they eat nuts, buds, and flowers of trees. There are more than 100 species of tree squirrels, and each plays a role in plant dispersal. As winter approaches, the eastern gray squirrel buries more food than it will recover. These buried seeds and nuts germinate the following spring. Okay, now we're going to go over which is the largest in the category and which is the smallest. And they mentioned it, so this is quick. The smallest one is the naked mole rat, and the biggest one is the capybara. And you know because they mentioned it. But other than that, this ends it. We learned, I hope you enjoyed learning about KB like and squirrel like rodents. And other than that, see you next time.